Okay, I wanted to explain something about these spline molds. There's the finished mold. It's poured in two halves. Uh, this one is ready to pour the uh, first half. You can see the uh, fence in there for the first half. And then this spline right here holds the top of the mold in place when you're pouring the concrete. Okay, um, now when you're pouring urethane, urethane wants to find every hole in there so remember to fill up either have a spline in this space wherever you have a spline make sure the top and the bottom is either filled with a spline or clay you can see right here I've uh, filled uh, the cracks all with uh, clay for the first pour because if you don't that urethane or silicon will find a hole and it'll leak out. I found that out. I was had to hurry around and find some clay to fill some holes. But once you fill that, then the pour goes fine. Make sure you wax the wood and use a, a part release. Now, when you start pouring concrete, that's not an issue. The concrete doesn't leak out, so you don't have to worry about uh, filling these spline cavities with uh, clay or anything. So I just thought I'd add that uh, to it and uh, the pour came out fine just exactly like I uh, like it. The, uh, it's a good resolution and uh, that'll make a good column base for my uh, viaduct for my model train. So there you go.